This is my uh, little Victorian terrace. So it's me, my husband Marco, and my little girl Misty, who's three. I um, run my own little company doing transcriptions, like scripts and post-production scripts for TV documentaries. Um, and I also run like a full-time Instagrammer. <laughs> Just for fun though, really. I've got a little blog as well, Town Girl Country Girl. first thing I thought when I came in here was like, I'm in another world. <laughs> what is the inspiration behind the decor and um, what was the process? I guess it's my personality in a house, which is like a bit bonkers, pretty eclectic, um, pink, colourful, mad. Uh, disco balls, skateboards, neons. I love pink, obviously. But I just wanted to create like kind of a fun dream house, like a really fun place to be. I guess I like started doing all of this in, in lockdown mainly and the house was so boring. But I, I think I get that from my mum. Oh, well, I know I do. Her house is like, it's very, it's completely different to this. Like there's no pink and it's a little country cottage, but she's got like little, areas of places with like vintage spoons and just things laid out like her cookbooks and she's just always been like that. I love being in here, this is my favourite room in the house. It's where I do a lot of filming every day and I just like, since I got these stools I just sit in here all the time. I set up my computer a lot in here, I work in here. It gets the sun and I love the disco balls and it's just like... It's a good vibe, it's a good vibe room. That's why I like, I kind of add to it all the time and just make it crazy. What I love about the house is um, when you enter the wall that you did yourself. Mm -hmm. What was the idea or inspiration? It was the Rihanna Rude Boy video. I was right. like, I love that. And actually it's the artist, they obviously got the inspiration from Keith Haring. Mm -hmm. It's that kind of vibe, it's like, you know, the strong black, the white. I had that pew, and I, I was like, that would be really good there, and I'll paint it black. And then I thought, oh, it'd look really good, like, Marco and I love OSB, mm -hmm. the, the table. Mm -hmm. um, and then my dad had those cinema chairs, it's just like, I don't know, I was like, oh, I could fit all this together, and then with the black cushions, and it just kind of all... <sighs> happy accidents. The main room for me, and I found it like really therapeutic, is doing Misty's bedroom. I knew she loved purple and pink and I found the wallpaper up there and was like, right, fine, this is what we're gonna do, like mermaid stuff, because she loves mermaids. Just painting over the white, like adding life to it, adding color, new carpets, like everything. We love barley, so I'm like, our garden's very, like, got the barley vibes. Got the parasol and the, um, the lanterns, and I've tried to, like, get tropical plants. It's so hot out there, it's like, it's an amazing sun trap, and we're really lucky to have a south-facing garden. We're really lucky to have a garden. Shout out to my best friend who uh, gave us the concrete slabs on the floor, which were amazing. They used to be in her kitchen but it like didn't work out. So she got different flooring, but I was like, I'll take them. So this little corner down here is Misty's creative area. It's like the bit where she eats, she reads, like plays with her beads, everything. Like she loves it. Um, and I just, yeah, I created it for her because she got to an age where it's like, they just need a little space. Mm -hmm. Even though the house is really small, I'm, I feel like everything's got its own like little area. Purpose. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you have to kind of think like that when you've got like a smaller house. We were really lucky with the um, with the bathroom because it was it was done. It was like one of the selling points of the house for me really, mm -hmm. like to have a nice bathroom. It was completely done as it was. 
The floor, it's interesting you talk about the floor because I have bought some um, tiles to like cover it over and then once I had done the wall, the, with the uh, Dalmatian, I was like, I really like the floor, it kind of just, it looked, it looks fine in there. The doorway of dreams. Um, yeah, I had it painted pink for quite a while, just the door, and then um, I vinyled it with the amazing eye vinyl from Get Kooky. Um, and yeah, people on Instagram are loving it. For our viewers who see your house mm -hmm. and know this is amazing, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. What would kind of be your um, tips, having gone through this experience mm -hmm. yourself? It's about like looking at things differently. This is mainly to do with the styling, though. For me, like if you took everything out of here, it would be quite boring. I mean, I'm a maximalist and I love stuff. If you've got a sunny spot in your house. Buy a disco ball. <laughs> Such a vibe. It will just like bring a room alive. Vinyling stuff, like upcycling, because you can take the vinyl off. The main things would be if you want to create this kind of vibe, get a disco ball, get some plants, and get some pink neon. 